welcome everybody to Frostpunk and the channel and blah uh, yay <laughs> right uh because Frostpunk 2 is about to come out I thought I would do a couple of videos on Frostpunk 1 just to have them on the channel and I love this game this game was great so I did do uh ages and ages and ages ago I did do a new home and I was playing around with that uh but today we're gonna try something that I haven't tried before which is the arc so I haven't actually to be honest if I go back I've only done the new home I have had these other ones for yonks like I got them as a deal and I still haven't done them so we're gonna do the arcs and then if if we get traction we might do the refugees and we might do the fall of winter home and etc etc so you guys let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of it and we'll see how we go um obviously of this is going to be a, a I don't know a, a test <laughs> to see if I'm any good at Frostpunk uh but yeah we make some decisions we might make some bad decisions but we hopefully we'll get through it and we'll get to a point where we're sustainable all right let's get into it does they have a video come on computer you can load this Gonna, I can't see any smoke coming out of the computer, so we should be fine. Oy, there we go. The seedling ox. All right, you've been chosen to safeguard the priceless treasures. All right, that sounds good to me. Uh, we'll ensure the green earth is reborn. All right, let's get to work. I always love how like on the screen here you've got like like ice it's very very cool so ooh, cool all right what are we gonna do we've reached the generator site and the seeds or seedlings are safely stored in the seedling arc we are supposed to deploy uh, automatons uh, to make sure the city can run itself uh, no matter the weather but the transport carrying the factory plans was lost in the blizzard we need to rebuild a beacon and send the team to search for it. Or we need to build a beacon, put it that way. All right, pause. Okie dokie. So if you've never played Frostpunk before and this is your first time looking at it, then uh, you might want to have a look at the new hope. They're kind of all same. Uh, you've got your resources up the top here. So you've got coal, wood, steel, and the steam cores. You've got food on this side and you've got food rations. So the, the cookhouse or the, the whatever it is turns the food into food rations and then your people can eat it. Uh, you have got your work time and the degrees of temperature that it is outside. It's it's minus 20. It's blue and cold. And then these are the days. And then you get like a little calendar to forecast what's going to happen. So the temperature is going to drop at, at day four and stuff like that. So that's what we can see. These are the amount of people that I have down in the right, right hand corner. So we have 46 people that we can tell them to go and get resources and you know all that kind of jazz and then your uh quests and stuff are over in the left hand corner and in the middle here is your discontent and hope so this changes as you go through the game you can have more hope or you can have more discontent more discontent means your people are going to revolt on you and uh not really like you but more hope is always good well sometimes it's always good I, I did a playthrough where i had like this all this hope and then people were like oh you're so good that you should just do it and then because i didn't one one thing i didn't do it discontent went up straight away so yeah maybe a balance you know maybe a balance right let's have a look preserve the seedlings we must ensure that the seedling arcs don't freeze oh, all the seedlings and many of the tropical seeds are very sensitive to the cold if the temperature in the seedling arcs falls below chili for too long its precious content will be damaged all right i see so what we've got to do is we've got to research and build the beacon so research is down here construction wait where's research let's book a laws oh okay uh find the factory plants right um what are we gonna do we are going to economy no i don't have research because i can't research because i don't have the research station okay let's try that so we are going to need wood we've got a little bit of wood but that's right we're going to need wood so we're going to put engineers on it max on that wood pile and there's also coal so we're definitely going to need coal 
Oh, actually, yep, yep, all coal, sweet. Uh, automaton. What is the automaton doing? Nothing. Right. The automaton can go onto that coal pile. Awesome. And yes, so we are going to build some tents around. One, two, three. One. That's all the wood we can do. Right. Let's get into it. I love that you can zoom right in and see the people wandering around. They look really cool. And then they go, oh, hey, just gonna push through the snow here. It's all good, we're just gonna make a path over here. And if I had the wood, I would make you a path, but I don't. So you can just push through the snow. <laughs> the snow, which is the same height as you. <laughs> uh, right, we have got no coal. Oh, we've got a little bit of coal, apologies. So we could probably turn this on. Uh, wait, can we? Yeah, we can. There we go. Right. So now we are a little bit warm. But this coal consumption is... Where is it? 42% uh, consumption. There. So it is 144 a day. Wow. That's crazy. Okay, cool. Uh, right. So these need to be... Uh, if we... There is an option here. Where is it? Temperature. Uh, yep, that's fine. That's camera controls. Temperature. Here we go. So it can't get less than chilly, which is this color. Correct? Yes. Okay. Close out of there and we press. What is our temperature setting? There. Here we go. Uh, it's a livable condition. All right. Cool. And then this is uh, this around here where well, they're, they're very comfortable because they're right next to the um, the core the sorry the generator and so they're very warm but these guys are not so we may have to look at uh, that's still livable that's that's totally fine and this one is livable which is fine and this one is livable out there awesome so more coal go automaton you are making coal and then wood is going to come in so we'll speed it up just doing a bit these guys are working awesome we've got some tents uh, we may need one more house there and then all of our people won't be homeless anymore ah seedling arcs what's that Seedling arcs, the sole reason of existence. Right, so temperature drops and then you get a timer on it. Oh, thank God. Okay, cool. So need to make sure that they don't die. That is our mission. Right, let us crack into it. So another one, these tents hold 10 people. See, inhabitants, 10. So I need an extra one which will hold another 10, but it'll only hold five. So if we get anybody else coming in, they will be able to have room okay automaton's doing a great job so that's good that you get an automaton and then these guys are doing coal as well as wood and then we need to build health health care cook house probably a cook excuse me don't go out of there <laughs> a cook house which can go yeah and then we are going to also build a gathering actually let's do let's do a uh, road mm hmm yeah uh, yeah cool and then go back to that one. awesome all right and then we are going to okay we don't have enough trees for our gathering hut that is totally fine let us keep going Oops, get out of this. Carry on. No, cancel. There we go. Alright, you're going to make a path now. It's going to make it a lot easier. Two. Some play. This is there. Cool, we've got definitely about two days worth of coal. That's, that's not too bad. Cool, so you guys are going to do this. So let's go a gathering post, which will be at the end of that. Lovely means it's a little bit warmer for them to gather stuff and 
second. Cool. Cookhouse is operational. Let's chuck some engineers in there to start cooking. So that people won't starve. And... Wow, it's like... You look around, like we pause, we look around. This has got like metal framing all around, all the way around to stop the snow from falling in. And it's like a big indoor cave, so that kind of resists a bit of the wind, which is cool. That needs some people, so we've maxed 10 people there. But we can also drop those people out of there and those people out of there, because now a gathering hunt. We'll gather all of that. Cool. What's over here? That is wood crates. Uh, let's make some more roads to go out this way go straight through there oh i don't have the wood okay that's fine you can just build that one. Oh, unpause go we're out of wood i know we are i said that <laughs> go mr automaton you keep the coal going all right that's all you need to do. That's all. That's that's your sole job is basically just keep getting coal, because otherwise this furnace ain't gonna last. Right, we've got thirty available, but maybe we will put them back on on the wood, because we are in a situation of dire wood need. They still they're still okay. Cool. Free time, right? I think it's six o'clock. That goes back to working hours, and then so it goes from free time. Yep, so six. Cool. Day night cycle. What can tell me about it? So day night cycle is you can make them uh, do emergency shifts if you need to, or twenty-four hour shifts. Uh, people will extend. Cool. So work time is between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. Free time is all the way through till 12 a.m. Sleep from there to 6. Free time. Go. Go. We need more wood, people. Keep going. Go, go, go. Yes, there we go. Use the path. Right, here comes our wooden. Right, so this is, I think, steel over here. Yes, it is. And this is another lot of wood. More wooden crates over there. Okay. Everybody's happy. It's fine. Let's have a quick look at what else we need to build. We need to build a workshop, which is wood and steel. I'm going to put them out, that out on a different edge. Maybe I'll put that here. Invalid placement. Oh, no, there we go. And then we'll put some engineers in there and they can start researching stuff so uh so just letting you guys know these episodes are probably going to be around the 30 minute mark i'll cut them out and so they're, they're not too uh long for you guys oh we also need okay that's done uh scientists in there that's fine yeah we need steam and heat or a beacon should we do the beacon first or should we do steam hubs steam hubs are quite cool but probably do the beacon start all right and in here we need cookhouse no resources health people ah there's no resource depot extends our storage capabilities no there's no huh interesting resources Ah, oh, fuck no, that's not it. Hot house. Is. Wait. Why is there not. Can't, why can't I gather things? Where do I get the food from? Uh, food and health. Board, that's fine. Middle post, bunkhouse, infirmary. Huh. Is there no, because in the last game there was uh, like hunters and gatherers and stuff like that. Not this one. 
very odd. Maybe you learn that down the track. Uh, that's a wood crate still. Hut. I'm sure there was something like that. Maybe it's the Book of Law. Actually, yeah, we haven't gone to that yet. That's fine. Okay, you guys keep gathering resources because that's what you're doing. And the engineers are in there. I have 10 people who are not doing anything. That's totally fine. And we will make it go very, very fast. Wood crates depleted, so that's those ones, but those ones should be okay. Awesome. We're going to quickly keep building up to here. So this is steel, and then this is wood. So that is fine. Go a gathering hut out of here. Resource gathering hut. We will put that here. Oh, it'll grab that hut will grab these wood crates as well. Lovely. <laughs> right. So the automaton is doing great. We're... Ah, I don't know. How do we get... I've got enough for about four days of food rationing, which is fine. Workforce. Generator. There. Food and hunger. There. Hunter's hut. How do we get that? The cookhouse prepares meals to produce two food rations from two units, oh sorry, one unit of raw food provided by hunters and hothouses and is sometimes found by scouts. Right. So where is that? Hunter's hut? It may be looking at me like in plain sight, but that's okay. Uh, we've got resource depot gathering post. We've got that. Got a hot a cookhouse, medical post, and tent. Okay, maybe I still have to research. That's let's burn into it. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I don't really want to overwork you just at the moment. Let's speed through it. And he's still getting coal, which is great. Is that gonna run out? Yeah, a little bit. Cool. <laughs> Where's the next lot of coal? Uh, that is wood crates. That's wood crates. That's wood crates. It's over here. Oh, yeah, coal here. Coal pile. Okay. And that is a coal deposit. Right, so I have to do something before these two coal piles run out. Right. Okay, keep going. You guys, do what you need to do. Coal pile depleted. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go out for this one and we'll turn the automaton onto this one. Make sure that he is doing his job. Beacon research. Nice. So let's do another. Maybe a coal thumper. Be good. Fast gathering. Inspiration. That's fine. Steam hubs. Heaters. Food and shelter. Yeah, this one here is missing. This is where it was, here. We'd have to do this, which is 50 wood, 8 hours, and then we can get a hot house. Oh, the decisions. Right. Might do coal thumping, just because we're going to run out of coal eventually. And then we will do the hot house in the next one. Tents, health, food, resources, beacon. Beacon needs 20 wood. And 35 steel. Okay, so these people. Cool. You get, get to work over there. Lovely. Speed it up a tiny bit. And the steel should start coming in as well. Right. Oh, cool. Alright, let's go here. Let's go beacon. Now, so the beacon needs to be just plonked somewhere. Let's put it over here. That's out of the way. Coal Thumper Research. Awesome. So now we are going to do this. One. So we're going to do ooh, 50 wood. We will need food eventually, won't we? Um, ooh, resources. Uh, sawmill. Steelworks. The sawmill basically turns frozen trees. Let's do that this time. 
and then we'll do the hot house next because then we have got a steady flow we're going to have a steady flow of frozen trees there frozen trees so we put it up here we're no longer lost and blind from now on our people will be able to survive the icy baron surrounds us frostlands whoa okay cool uh, abandoned supplies right so i just need to go and get that so i need to yeah that's it storm on the horizon captain the beacon uh, operation can we can clearly see the storm approaching from the south it's still some distance away but we'd better keep an eye on it to make sure cool oh, see thank you very much good sir right we're gonna make uh gonna make a scout yes cool and then these guys are gonna go out here to get the abandoned supplies play the city let's play, play. Oh, that's not what i meant to do Go. Hey, look at the beacon. Go, beacon, go. Alright, the food is slowly going down. So we shall hopefully. Alright, so they're all asleep. Free time. Alright. Speed it up. those guys will get there for those <sighs> does it mean I get more automatons that'd be cool if we do uh scouts generator yep shut down we go to level one that's fine research cool these are all the new things switching between buildings oh cool that's a new feature awesome and with a change yep beacon yep scouts yep Automaton scouts, that's cool. Alright. Uh what are we doing? Free time. Keep going. So we have got quite a lot of coal now. So Oh, here comes the cold. What does that drop it to? Chili. Uh-oh. So Does that mean I'm gonna have a problem? Uh, close. Do I need to bump that up to double the amount of? Oh, I can't. Okay, range because I haven't researched it yet. Okay, so this one is at Chile. Uh, I generator overdrive. Cool. So I could technically could put it into overdrive, but it all stress levels will rise. Does that take that out of chili? It does not. <laughs> Don't need overdrive. So this is chili as well. Uh, so keep the building at at least chili, or the seeds inside will start to freeze. Right. So it's okay at chili. Right. We're good to go. Right, let's speed it on a little bit more, see what the scouts have to offer. 20 minutes, 7 minutes, 3 minutes, 2 minutes, 1. Awesome. Uh, steam cores and steel. Our supplies are covered in snow and ice. They seem undamaged, but they'll. Uh, but we'll have to dig them out. Okay, cool. Explore. Covering the treasure. We spent hours hacking at the ice to free our supplies, but we did it. Right. Uh, broken automaton and then the fallen ice mines broken automaton cool. go out there go back late dokie. so what else are we gonna do we're gonna maybe build a coal thumper no 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 we're gonna wait for <laughs> just like knowing no 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 Okay, so we're waiting for the technology tree. Yes, thank you. And now we're gonna go to this one. But we need 50 wood, uh, 50 wood, yeah. So we're gonna carry on and say, hey, you guys just, uh, yeah, can you just like get some wood? That'd be great. 
cool. And then we're going to research this one. Upgrade. Perfect. Carry on. And then what's this? Seedling arcs might freeze. Captain, in a few days the temperature will drop again. Our seedling arcs will be in danger. We have to keep them warm with heaters or steam hubs. I see. I see. Right. Right. let's go okay we're waiting for okay this this probably needs like maybe like a change in hours um, workouts can i i can't change that can i no automaton explore Ooh. okay this automaton was left here where it broke down thankfully we've managed to dig it out and fix it we can now send this fully functional automaton to the city. Lovely. Awesome. What's this? Lost Dreadnought. Uh, or large ruins of an industrial building buried in the snow. Uh, rays over the horizon. 12 hours. 13 hours. Maybe. Okay. Let's go to that one. So one day another automaton will be here, which is lovely. Exploration. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I don't need that. Right. Let's keep going. So in a day, yeah, we're gonna need heaters. Ah. Very nervous about this. So I've got enough coal, but the heaters need to be turned on, which I need to research heaters, which is this one. Can I pause what I'm doing? I can abort it. <laughs> Do I get my stuff back though? Uh, right. Okay, let's just... Let's just go hard. Go hard. Go hard on the research. There we go. Research is now going. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, uh, the coal is full. Alright, that's fair. Um, we might put the automaton in. Cool. And then we quickly do heaters. Start. Right, and we'll quickly set it going again, and then we might put automaton in here. Can we put the automaton in here? I thought we could, but maybe we can't. Oh, <gasps> it's a 50%. Uh-oh. And we're running out of food. Just, just saying. Uh, Steam calls coal. There's technology to acquire here. Explore. Awesome. Take the resources. Lovely. Uh, where are we going to go? This place is the only thing standing out of the endless white desert, or this place is the only thing standing out of the endless white desert. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's helpful. So 18 hours to arrive there, 18 there, and 19 there. Let's go the furthest. Factory plans found. Excellent. We can now start setting up the automated infrastructure to keep the seedling arcs at a safe temperature. Bring back the plans, set up the factory, and increase the number of automatons to three. Hope rises. Awesome. Uh, no gathering posts, so we don't need anything over here anymore. But we could probably use it down here. So if we say build a road from here to here. Because we're definitely going to put the, the tree thing down there anyway. And then we will remove that. No, we can only dismantle. Okay. So we don't need that anymore. And we'll build. <coughs> Excuse me. We shall build a new gathering post. New one. Oh my god. There we go. Okay, keep going. Oh, it's gonna turn very cold very soon. Okay. We may have failed. <laughs> oh, someone's sick. Right, these ones need max 20 people. Which is great. So they're going to collect wood over there. And then keep going. Can't. Can I do the Book of Law yet? Allocation. Book of Law. I can. Okay. So, fighting arena, emergency shift. We might sign this one for an emergency shift. And we'll tell this one to 
emergency shift for the next 24 hours or some uh oh I see I see I see I thought I saw that <laughs> we're getting there we're getting there okay I'm gonna turn the heaters on very soon okay there we go heaters are on heaters yes and heaters lovely Here's the other one uh, heaters lovely that was so close and heaters right we're gonna leave it there guys uh, <laughs> bit of stress we got lots of discontent because i organized the 24-hour emergency shift but we are good to go with uh with generator upgrades and all that kind of stuff but we need a hot house for food uh yes hot house for food and we'll put that so wait but, oh you're researching the hot house that's right i can't do that just yet so when we go to the next episode we will be having a hot house we will have a new automaton it's only three hours away and it can start doing like wood and coal and steel and all that kind of stuff and then we will start doing their factory plans dun, dun, dun. don't know what that is but yeah you guys have a good rest of your night like comment subscribe and i shall see you guys in the next video well you'll see me i won't see you but you'll listen to me bye